Hey everyone! Today I'm going to be reviewing the first Barbie Chromatic Couture doll, which is the one with the blue color scheme. This one debuted in France on 3rd July 2020, and as of right now, there are currently three others in the series. And these dolls are designed by the highly talented, highly skilled, amazing Carlisle Nuera. These dolls are platinum label. This one in particular has the Mary or Mari face sculpt and was exclusive to the 2020 Paris Fashion Doll Festival as well as the Spanish Doll Convention that year. There are only 2,500 of these in existence. I am in love with this series so far. The moment I saw this doll, I knew I had to get her. I, I bought her almost right away. She was the one that really sung to me out of the four, but oh, the silhouettes. So here is her box. Barbie signature, nice and soft, kind of like a shoebox style. And then on the back, we have this copywriting, which by the way, I absolutely love. I'm not gonna read this for you because I feel like most people would just kind of read it themselves. So yeah, but that's what it says on the box. And the box comes apart like this. So this is the lid. This is the little insert that you can display her in. And she looks really good with this background but I am more of an out-of-box collector, so, you know, I had to take mine out. And then behind, we have her certificate of authenticity. Here she is in all her glory. She also comes with a stand, just a saddle stand. And this is kind of like a translucent blue. Oh, she is amazing. I didn't think I would like saddle stands, but I think in this instance, it works really well because you don't really want something kind of clipping on and you know ruining the silhouette or getting into the delicate fabrics and things like that i don't know maybe that's just me i absolutely love her deep skin with this color this is what her makeup looks like so she's got blue eyebrows blue eyeliner nice brown eyes blue lipstick she's got blue and black streaks of hair, chain earrings that are pressed in very firmly. I have not attempted to remove them and I don't think I will. I really like them. These might be real metal. I am not sure, but I am pretty convinced to kind of crystal chokers to tie in with her shoes, which I'll show you later. Her hair was mostly ungelled. It's very soft and long. It goes all the way down here. Her scalp, it was a little bit gel. It was very easy to remove and I did that right away. You kind of don't really need the gel in there, but I suppose for those inbox collectors, they wanted to just have it extra secure. One thing that is a little weird is if you look at the finish on her skin over here, it's kind of satin-ish. And then I have like, I think this is a defect on mine. And there's this like streak of glossy skin right here. I don't know what's going on, but I think that's a factory defect. And her legs are super high gloss, like especially compared to her face. It is crazy high gloss. This is like my daily reminder to shave my legs. She's got this itty bitty ring, which I really like. It's actually kind of stabbed it through her hand so you don't lose it and I don't mind that really I think that's better because I'm not going to be taking it out and she's got blue a blue manicure and a pedicure I'm pretty sure so on to obviously the main star of this entire thing although I will say that the entire ensemble is beautiful so she has these off-the-shoulder puff sleeves very elegant and very fairy like the bodice is this ruched tool again and underneath we have these two darts and we have this two-tone metallic taffeta if you can see this kind of a green shimmer and it's also blue and it is gorgeous i love the sparkly effect under this soft fluffy tool and then it goes down to this big bubble hemmed area <laughs> and it is wow it's a high low situation 
and it is gorgeous. And then over here, we just have two very basic, but I think this is kind of, I think this is arguably the best way to end off this piece. Just these clear crystalline pumps in blue again. And I kept the bands on because I realized her shoes wouldn't stay on otherwise. And that is my, like my main or only gripe with this doll really is that her shoes don't stay on at all without the bands. Like if I'm paying over a hundred dollars for this, like I would like her shoes to stay on please without plastic bands. She also came with some plastic bands to secure her chokers but they stay on fine without them so I just remove them. She doesn't have much articulation really or she's just got basic like shoulders and um, hip but I mean I guess with these dolls most people just kind of leave them in the box or just on display you don't really take these out but you could I, I think I really like that her body mold has some shape to it um, because you can't pose it but I can still kind of like you know like she comes in the box with her head straight but I like her going like that I think it's very um, kind of ethereal and whimsical and then see how her arm bends kind of like that and she's got her hand pointing out so I like to push her arm out instead of keeping it flat against her body so you can really see the full effect of the puff sleeves and the shape of her hand and then this one I like to turn behind a little bit so that you can see her really pretty ring so she kind of looks like she's in a daze and very dreamy and that's how i like to display her so that is an out of box look at chromatic couture barbie 2020 and those were my thoughts on this gorgeous doll thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one